This is the best business trip I've been on. I'm ready to see the pigeons and the rats. Welcome to another day of my life living in market. We have Brody in the car, Mr. Service Animal over here. Hi Brody, say hi to the vlog. He is kind of a menace because last night, Mr. Brody, yeah, Mr. Brody over here, decided he was gonna have a spicy little accident last night. Three times, did I sleep last night? No, is that why I'm wearing glasses? Yep. We are going to the Hamptons, we are going out east, and I need to drop him off at his babysitter in Chelsea. So, we are off on the road. Thanks for giving me a hard time. Anyways, still love you. But there might be some music over this because I'm playing Taylor Swift as usual. You guys, I feel like I'm going to drop off my child at school. How are we liking the new car mount? Do we like it? I know it's not super still, but $19.99, you guys, and until we get more views on these videos, like, this is all I can afford. Let's drop Brody off at school, and by school I mean my friends watching him. Um, I watch this Pomeranian when I used to live in Chelsea, and we trade off whenever we watch our dogs, and every time I give Brody away, he always looks back at me like 20 times. <laughs> And I'm like watching him right now. I would show you guys, but they're already farther down, so I don't think the lens will pick it up. But we are on our way to the Hamptons. Uh -huh. This is the hotel. It's so cute. I kind of feel like it's like an apartment. This is so cute. Oh my god, this is amazing. And I have a, like a little deck out here. This bed is huge. Guys, this is bigger than my New York apartment. Nice little setup, cute little towels. Wow, so far five out of five, you guys. This is great. Got robes. Had a really long day driving and just like catching up admin stuff. I am going to drive to Bridgehampton right now, which is only a few miles away from where I am right now to go to Bobby Vans. And then it's right next to Pierre's. My friends told me that they have just a good bar to go sit at at Bobby Vans since I am alone. So I'm going to check that out and I'll bring you guys along with me. I think I'm going to vlog on my phone phone and not bring this out just because it's kind of annoying to like bring it in and stuff like that oh i really like this hotel it is called hampton made or something oh it's called the hampton made and it's super cute i feel like i have my own apartment because it's basically like a giant new york studio in a sense and there's a porch and everything i am pretty hungry though so let's go get some food Let's go. I just got back to the car. Dinner was okay. Like a lot of places I realize in Southampton or just the Hamptons right now because it's so seasonal are closed. Like I went to Bobby Vans or whatever it is in Bridgehampton and I just got this weird senior citizen vibe so I left and went to this other place called like Blue Mar or whatever in Southampton and then it was closed and then the only two restaurants that were open was the place that I just went to which is Argento and then there was Le Charlat and I just feel like I'm gonna be eating a lot of French food later so I don't really want to like consume any more French food for now. I'm kind of feeling really sad and 
lonely because I just ate alone and I eat alone a lot in Paris and I don't care when I travel eating alone but for some reason eating alone in America just kind of sucks I don't know if it's because I can understand what everyone's saying but I just like was like yeah it'd be really nice if my coworkers were here like I wasn't alone and like I also just think that this is a seasonal town so it's kind of like depressing and sad right now like I feel like the last work trip that I went on that we went together was more fun and I guess I would have if I would to do this again I would have just ordered food to the hotel room and just watch tv and like finish the crown or something because <laughs> this was just depressing. Anyways, let's drive home. A few moments later. In the hotel and I am ready to pass out and watch The Crown. I am over being alone. I'm tired of it. We're tired of being working girls. That's about it. Can't wait to jump into this bed. Ah! Oh my God, it's so nice. We are in the rub fit and we are gonna get ready for bed because I'm pretty tired, dude. I don't know about you guys, but it has been a long day and I am definitely over traveling for work. This is, think, shut up. This is what I use. It's called Skin Cuticles or whatever. Girl that does my face at Equinox Esthetician, Jody, she recommends this. This is the exfoliator because I have a lot of like, I don't know what she calls it. I like have buildup, I guess, like around my chin. I think it's hormonal, but this is supposed to break up the skin and just like break it down. And honestly, I've been using this. I'm on my pure, which is why I have this big thing right here, but it's been really helpful. You guys should really get it. day guys I just got room service I just closed a pretty big deal so wanted to celebrate with some room service this morning This is the best business trip I've been on. I love this hotel. You guys need to go to the Hampton Maid. It is in Hampton Bays, which is like right across the bridge from Southampton. There isn't a lot of hotels to be honest in the Hamptons besides like Gurney's if you want to drop a ton of money. So when I go on my work trips, we use this third party site to book all of our travel, whether it's flights, cars, hotels, so I kind of don't really get to pick what I want to book. It's kind of decided for me. And I know a lot of people that go on work trips, they like doing it because they get points, but I don't get points. I love how this person brought me, they, okay, so the order was two cups of coffee. I ordered one, but who doesn't want more coffee? They also brought me two things of silverware. Do you guys ever order food and they always bring you two things as if it's like how dare you be alone like we should start normalizing being alone this is why our culture feels bad when we're alone because little things like silverware and the coffees and it's like oh should i not be alone anyways today is a great morning because i just got a deal and I think that got me to Target. So if you guys are in sales, you have like your quota, which is your goal, like you need to hit that. And then in sales, we have our Target, which is what we aspire to hit. And I'm pretty sure I just hit it. So yay, I need money because I'm going to Paris. And this is really helpful. I also really like this robe because it's not too thick. It's just kind of like do in the fields. Anyways, we have a meeting this afternoon in Southampton and then I have another meeting north of 
Hamptons I think it's in like Forked River or like something like that so but it's not till later so we could do a late checkout here we can do some work here I'm gonna eat my toast and I hope you guys are having a good morning also comment below if you're at this point are you a breakfast sausage person or are you breakfast bacon <laughs> Welcome to my last day in market. I am excited to go home, but I'm also really grateful that I got to be out of the city. I don't know like if you guys feel the same way, but I feel like when you live in the city, getting out of the city at least every three months is really important for your mental health. So we are on our way to one of my client meetings. It is raining today, so there's a lot of pine needles everywhere and I have some great news so I am pretty much finalizing the sublease for my apartment in New York what was that did you guys see that thing moving behind me okay anyways so I basically finalized the sublease agreement closed a brand deal and I also got a big deal this morning that got me to Target I think I mentioned that earlier. So sorry if I'm repeating it, but he's excited. And I think I need to turn off that back thing. All right, so let's drive off to where we need to go. I need to first return the keys to this bed and breakfast. You guys should definitely come here. It's Hampton Maids. It's in Hampton Bays. Highly, highly recommend, especially during the off season. I think they do give you like a pretty good deal. Yeah, check that out. I really need to just like also work out. I feel fat. All right, let's go. So you would go to the recording section of- Okay, that virtual meeting on Zoom while I'm driving to a different meeting is just not working out. So I tried listening to it, um, but clearly it was just not safe. So hopefully they have that recorded because I'm not doing that. My safety is more important. Anyways, I am going to start heading back toward the city. So we're gonna do a little drive with me and then I need to grab Brody. I need to return this car rental and I need to go hit the gym. This is the thing that I don't like the most about these work trips is like, I definitely cannot be on my gym routine as much as I would if I was in the city. Yes, sometimes there is an Equinox. Let's say last time when I was at the Connecticut location there was, or if I'm in North Jersey, but there is not an Equinox out in the Hamptons. There is during the season but not right now and I'm not gonna like start a brand new gym membership anywhere else. My client actually is going to a really cool event with some interesting people is what was said in the meeting and his friend like invited me but it's way later today and I'm heading home so overall very good trip, good time meeting with clients. I feel like people respond better when they meet you in person and I am excited to get back to the city as much as I enjoyed being out in nature. I'm ready to see the pigeons and the rats and mostly just have really bomb food. Like food out in the burbs, it's not bad. I've definitely had worse, but it's just not the same, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 